Alleluia, the Lord is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Saints, there are many reasons we may have to be sorrowing still or to be feeling like the hope and joy is not yet within us, but I want you to take a moment and imagine if it's not already within you, imagine what God might be calling you to in this time. What new life has God given you today? Truly, I know it might sound a little trite and easy. You know, every day we can ask this question. Every day is an opportunity to delight in the resurrection, the new life given to us in Jesus Christ. But given all that we have experienced as a people, people of the Episcopal Church, Episcopal Diocese of Indianapolis, of citizens of this world, all that we have been through, God has seen us through. God has accompanied us, whether we felt it keenly or not, God has been with us every step of the way. And the pledge and promise we have fulfilled in the Easter message, in the Easter reality, is that God is with us still, always. There is no place we can go, nothing we can do, that can ultimately separate us from God's love in Christ. There is nothing about us, about who we are, who we love, that can keep us from God's love. And so what better message is that? I, I, I invite you to join me in sharing that love and message with the world today in some way that makes your heart sing. You may use words or not. The Lord has risen. The Lord is risen. And so are you. Blessed Easter, beloved.